Welcome everyone to another 7 Minutes or Less talking about the shows you love and want to get into. Today we will be talking about Good Omens, just the first episode. Good Omens is directed by Douglas McKinnon, uh, ironically by the same name of me. I am, My name is Doug, but that doesn't really matter. That's not the reason why I'm watching this. And it stars David Tennant, another reason why I'm not watching this, I promise. Michael Sheen, again, seriously, not the only reason. John Hamm, okay, maybe. Okay, maybe. And it's about an angel and demon played by David Tennant and Michael Sheen trying to stop the coming apocalypse on Earth. This has been one of the TV shows that I have been eagerly anticipating for the last few months, being a fan of Neil Gaiman and quite enjoying the adaptations of the material, especially since Neil Gaiman himself is writing the show. I always found his concepts brilliant and inventive, but I never could quite get into the books. I have tried and failed. This might discredit me for being anywhere near a decent reviewer. I do apologize. But I do have to say, what better way than to make the person who wrote the book write the screenplay so you make sure that the, the vision that you want is intact well enough. I think that's pretty incredible. With Good Omens, it's on Amazon Prime, so this isn't a hard show to find or get a hold of, with many who probably already have an Amazon account can access it quite well, and that is of course if you, if you are interested. God, devil, angels, demons, stopping the coming apocalypse and almost getting it disastrously wrong. It's all in good fun! When we meet our characters Crowley, a demon played by David Tennant, and Xerophil played by Michael Sheen, they debate on their actions when encountering Adam and Eve, understanding good and evil and what right and wrong they have done in upon this encounter. But later on, as we get to know them throughout the years, decades, and even centuries, they maintain a decent friendship. That friendship becomes the key piece to Crowley's plan when there is a mix-up of children when the apocalypse is finally underway and Crowley uses Azurafil to help him to convince the child to do good rather than evil. This child, of course, is destined to be the Antichrist. The first episode is an hour long, and it gives us everything we need to know for our characters we will be watching for the next five, and I'm pretty sure there are plenty more surprises coming along the way. I really enjoyed this first episode and look forward to the next five episodes. As I was watching, I couldn't help but notice the, the sense of humor that it had and how executed it was pretty well throughout this episode, giving us a breakdown of the stakes, the problem towards these stakes, and the mix of it all because, well, where Crowley and Azarafel decide to become key members in the child's life, it leads to some hilarious circumstances, especially with a voiceover narration from God herself, played by Francis McDormand. We're doomed. Welcome to the end times. Wrapping this up, I won't get anything more away. I was really pleasantly surprised with all of this. The hour moved so quickly that I had forgotten I was watching an episode and I thought I was watching a movie. So when the credits rolled, I was like, whoa, wait. Oh, that's right. I'm watching a TV show. Five more episodes to go. Here we go. The time flew by without a scene that I could find that was unworthy of watching. Michael Sheen and David Tennant really work well together here. And just so you know, with David Tennant, I really think he's having a blast with this role because he's this carefree demon. He's he's just, he's manipulative, he's cunning, he's charming, just like he would in, as playing the doctor, for crying out loud. And Michael Sheen is a little bit different than I've seen him in other projects where he's a little bit more timid and you know, he's careful and not willing to really get his hands dirty, but he will do the right thing if convinced. And I think with these two, it just makes some fine damn entertainment. With that said, those are my parting thoughts. I won't keep you guys and gals long, but I really wanted to at least recommend this show in regards to its material, execution, and entertainment value. It's definitely really high up there. So far, I'm quite enjoying it. And I will get you guys a full season review later on this week. Have a great one, guys.